천천히 Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you an air conditioner. Yes, an air conditioner. That's it. I'm going to hook it up. It's a six volt system or five. You hear it running. This is the heat ex extraction. This is the cooling part. This you can put inside of an ear of most costumes. This is going Marshall suit. This ear is about eight by eight inches. And about an inch thick. This part came out of an old laptop. This is out of a cooling system for a the video drives out of uh, most computers. And these are the chips right here. Petri coolers or thermocouples. From China. Marple ordered them for me. This is part of the laptop here. You see how narrow it is. You have to take some of the material off here to get this chip on here. Test the chip first. Make sure you got the cold side up, heated side down. And you put the heat sinks on this side. You mount the squirrel cage fan, like this guy here. Also have a laptop. What it does, it sucks to the fur. You can draw through the fur, because fur is porous. That way you don't see the mechanism. You put a little bit of foam for the air to build up. But on the output, you have a little bit of holes in the fur. You don't see it. It's very invisible. This is inside the helmet, this part here, where it blows the cool air into the suit. There's going to be two of these things mounted. These things are about a half pound. There's a the scale, it's about half pound. The laptop, garbage like this. Just gut them up, and that's it. This right here, this is back in the 2090s. Doesn't make any difference what laptop you grab. There are multiple. These heat sinks right here, out of, like I said, uh, video uh, video drive boards out of computers. They come in multitude of sizes. But try to find the right one that fits the chip. You can see the sizes right here. I have to cut these corners, flatten them, melt the chip in. I use a heat compound, silicone. The battery packs can be anything. A little heavier for the longer usage. Preferably nickel cadmium or sodium ion or anything that's rechargeable. These screens are used to prevent the fur from being sucked in. You can see the difference right here because it will draw through the fur easily. And this is a barrier to keep the heat from circulating into the suit. If you have a big enough suit with a lot of foam, this can be on the exterior where the heat comes through the chest and the cooling can blow inside the uh, body. You can make it even smaller if you want to, or even bigger. I prefer between 5 and 6 volts, then the efficiency is more, it shoots up. At 25%. At 12 volts, it's only 10%. You need a heat sink twice the size at 12 volts. So it's best to run these things on 5 volts. You don't want to freeze yourself to death. 
just the call. These are the laptops. They come with multiple uses. If you can't find laptops, you may find a company that may have this. So you gotta remember your heat sink has to be at least 75% and 25% on the output or less. In other words, small, large. Because they're not that really efficient. But they will do the job. Your battery packs should go onto your waist right here. You can run the cord and switches to the system. That way you can take a bite out of heat. <laughs> Hopefully this will fill in all the details. I'll give you a close-up look at everything here. That's my miserable dog in the background barking. Okay. There's the weight scale, and there's the cooler. It's just slightly, oh, about half a pound. These are the laptops. It's just a small battery pack. I require something a little heavier than these guys. You can actually series parallel batteries to get the amperage. There's your heat sinks. These are all fans. Oh, a messy shop here. And the whole thing was assembled with just simple glue gun. And use polymer. You can get it at tap plastics. I use the polycarb because sheets because it's a little easier to handle. They can cut without chipping. I use polycarb. This is ordinary mesh screen. Home Depot's got this stuff by rolls. Because you need to wrap this thing. If you don't, it gets up against those blades and you're in trouble. You just need a soft blowing on the output. But this guy on the, out, on the uh, heat, uh, heat exhaust has got to be a little more faster than that. These fans are real tiny. There's going to be a dual switch in his system. Where he can just turn on the cooling fan only just to blow air in. But if it really gets hot, he can switch on the whole system. And should last about five hours, depends on the size of batteries he's got. Most of these fans are out of computers. I mean, all this junk's out of computers. And you need to have some knowledge of electronics to wire all this stuff together. You must understand electrical and physics involved here. Like I said, these putter coolers or the thermal couples at 12 volts are only about 10% efficiency. That's it. They become 20 to 25% efficiency, but they need 75% output on the heat sink and only 25% on the cooling side. You just, 5 volts is plenty. That's all these fans are, 5 and 6 volts. Nothing horrendous. Like I said, just out of cheap computers. You may find them at any thrift store. There's electrical wiring here, you need a soldering station. And you need a, a course of basic electricity, at least, to understand how this is going to all go together. This is going to be hooked up to two switches. There'll be two of these sitting inside the helmet, because he's got very large ears. Eight, they're eight by eight inches, rectangle. And this thing should fit nicely. See, there's eight inches at the base. I have to remove the foam out of his ear in order to install that. So when it gets slipped inside the ear, it'll have the same shape. The only difference is it's going to have a little bit of weight. Then I mount the thing in the base where it doesn't flop as he walks around. Same story.